Libra, welcome to your Astro Flower reading going from the week from the 27th of March through to the 2nd of April. We're going to be going into your chakras, your aura and doing your towers as well. Um, let's just see what's going on here straight away with your root chakra. There's a lot, there's, there's movement at the moment. There's a reassessment of your foundation, um, which seems to be in this week here. Not major, major reassessment, but a lot of little reassessments within um, the foundations of what you want out of life, basically. Uh, it's very nice. It's, it's very, um, it's not as defined. It's the least defined as all the other signs. Um but I think this is little things, foundations of how life is being led at the moment as being analysed. You're, you're, you're adjusting or you're reassessing certain things of how you do things. Let's just see what's going on in your sacrum. Excuse me a second. Let's see what's going on in your sacrum. Yeah, I think you're still concentrating on your material side of life. Be careful of that because the life, you know, the work, play, ethic may be, um, may be um, you know, uh, affected because of that. It's really getting precise now on how you, your fundamental desires of what you want in life. Um, it's really, really precise for you this week. It's very clear for you. Um, and that could be on your financial side uh, of how you really want things. Um, it might be you might be giving a pass on relationships this week. Let's just see uh, what's going on on your solar plexus. You're really busy uh, this week as well. Um, it, and I think it's working on yourself uh, more than anything. And those and those um, readjustments within your root chakra more than actually being really, really busy, physically busy within the world. Um, you are that as well. There is that as, as well, because you need to imply th apply things in order to sort that, as, that foundation sort of aspect out. Um, so there's a lot of passion that's being built up inside you um, and it's being um, let out as you, as you walk through life and activating um, your determination and your confidence and your courage that is within you. Really nice. Let's just see what's going on with your heart chakra. Oh, this is also, I think the analysis of your root chakra and how you're reassessing certain things actually is in accordance to your um, heart's desires. So that's different to the fundamental desires. Your heart's desires of how do you want things to be? So fundamental, this is how I say it to keep it very simple. Fundamental desire is I am hungry. Heart's desire is what do I want to eat? Um, what would I like to eat? And here it's, it's almost, it's like it's a systematic way of putting things into place so you get towards your heart's desires. And it's very much a methodical way of approach to your emotions, to your life, basically, uh, to your desires and your heart. Really nice, I think. Um, sometimes we need to do that. And obviously, this is the week to do it for you. Let's just have a look what's going on in your third eye and your throat chakra. OK, it does boil up occasionally and probably by the end of the week. And we might see that in the tarot reading in petals eight, nine and ten um, at the end. But um, it's mainly um, it's it's mainly logical approach to life, uh, which is good, which you're really powerful on. Um, but there is also communication that comes in uh, and it's probably going to come in by the end of the week, around about Wednesday or Thursday or Thursday and Friday. Sorry, where, um, yeah, you want to explain yourself and actually being precise of how you explain yourself uh is going to help to uh, resolve those situations in your fundamental desires. But um, yeah, really nice. Let's just see what's going on in your crown chakra. There's a lot. Of, there's 
I, there's a lot of carrying here. There's a there's a heavy consciousness. Uh, it's been building up for some time. I think it's ready to break. I think it's ready to be enacted, that consciousness within your life. But those little things that need to get sorted out, your fundamental things that need to get sorted out is really important before you can actually allow your consciousness to actually invade the rest of your chakras uh, so you can apply your consciousness within your life. And this logical aspect and this logical uh, communication and logical approach to your heart, I think is really important for you. Let's just see what's going on on your aura. So Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, there's um, and it, this is where the enactment starts. Uh, so it's an application from you in your life. This is how I want it to be. This is how I'm going to do it. This is what I'm going to do. Uh, sort of, it's very matter of fact about it. Um, let's just see if there's anything else that's going on. There's also uh, something later on in the week, I think around about, um, yeah, Thursday, Friday, um, where you apply something within your material life, within your material life. That's what it seems to be, where you're applying something. Uh, let's just go on to the top here. And this seems to be coming through for a lot of people, but there's, uh, there seems to be um, something that's um, from the outside world, which is an imposing upon you in the very later stages, the weekend next weekend. So we're talking about the 1st or 2nd of April. Um, and it's a little bit heavy. I don't think you're going to have the solution straight away. I think those are going to come out in the coming week after that. Um, I would concentrate on applying your heart's desires in your life and actually mechanically how you put them into place uh, within you. OK, so um, let's just have a look at uh, your tarot reading for the week. Thank you very much for being with us, um, Libra, and subscribing and all of that sort of malarkey because YouTube are just not helping us. They're shadow banning us. And any bit of help we can get is absolutely brilliant. Let's just see what's going on with the overall energy here. Page of Wands. Learning to, um, yeah, learning tricks, learning your passions, uh, learning how to um, uh, excel yourself uh, and apply, this is to ply your heart, your heart's desires, basically. Learning a lot. Uh, this is a week of learning. See what's going on on your relationship side. Ace of Swords offering coming in so uh, this is your karmic message i would accept um offerings or opportunities um within your within your relationship side um or at least examine it you know things that coming uh, or or uh you know coming in from left field as it were it's learning about um what you um desire in your life of how you put your um, your mechanical uh, desires of your heart's desires in place. It's a bit of a victory as well of learning how to get the most out of a situation, maybe. Um, a lot of people have had this card as well. The universe is encouraging you to play smart within your relationships. How is your guides influencing you? And it's coming in quite quickly. This is possibly what's coming in at the end of the week. It's also sort of um, when you mechanically put into place your heart's desires, then you can really zip off. And this is what your guides are trying to set up for you at the moment. It's not actually in your present everyday life at the moment. This is what's filtering through you and coming forward as you've been playing smart or, you know, um, Realize, it could well be realising someone, you know, uh, the universe is exposing someone who's lying and cheating to you. I don't think it's that. It's nothing really came out in the in the readings about that. But I think it's more of a case of playing smart and knowing what opportunities to accept. Your guides are sort of trying to sort things out because uh, for your future, uh, creating situations and, uh, and coincidences around you. Uh, with good victories. There's a lot of victories going on because you're applying yourself in your life and you're applying a certain mechanic to your heart's desires. Um, eight of Wands, lots of messages coming in and, and understanding uh, of the world around you. And I think this has to do with that mechanical side of your heart as well. 
Um, it is uh, understanding of how things work in regards to a relationship and, and what have you. Um, that's what the um, sort of carrot is in front of you. It's um, realizing things and kind of going, oh, wow, look at that. Uh, or uh, understanding about your relationships. It's not necessarily applying it as such. It's just observing. There's a lot of observing going on there. Let's just see what's going on in your financial sort of side. Social activity, um, connecting with people around you, celebrating, um, enjoying uh, that celebrating, enjoying that success that you are creating within your life. Uh, as I say, I think it was a lot more concentration on your on your material side of life. And it's going to bring you um, good connections with people, good, good networking uh, as you go forward. Um, yeah, temperance. I think if the, if the universe is sort of saying to you, take your time, take it easy, um, it's applying that logic in your life. Uh, and it's going to take you time to um, mechanically put your heart's desires into your into your business world. Um, it could be a case of um, also understanding of when to put your foot on the accelerator, when to put your foot on the brake, that to and froing as well, uh, which we can have in the life. Three of cups, three of pentacles. We got a double on there already. Um, and it's good quality work. I think you're doing really well here uh, in your financial world. I think you're really connecting with people and, and really networking and I think your quality of your work is being shown within the quality of the people that you are attracting around you. The more quality work you do on yourself, the more quality and the precision that you get on your heart's desires, the more that people around you are going to be kind of going, oh, you know, you're going to attract, as I say, quality people. And people may even turn around and sort of say, you know, I don't know even if I'm up to the standard of Libra. And therefore, you're only going to get people that are coming to you sort of saying, I think I'm up to the standard of Libra. I've got the confidence. And this is going to open up bright new chapters for you within your financial world uh, at the moment and getting things really sorted. Yeah, a lot of opportunities coming in for you. The financial side here with your networking and being very patient about things, examining every aspect of the the, um, the situation and having that three of pentacles of that quality work within you, attracting quality people that are around you to work with, um, all of a sudden is going to make you realise within your thinking that, oh, wow, now this is possible. Now this is possible. Now this is possible. And that ties into those messages as well. I think this is going to be feeding this side more than anything else. And it's learning about your passions. Uh, let's just see what uh, comes out at the end of the week. The Knight of Cups. Offerings are heading your way. And I think this could be offerings of love, of a relationship, of the situation with someone. This could also be offerings of financial as well. Could be an offering of a job, um, which... Uh, or uh, an opening up of your business uh, even more, sort of contracts and stuff like that, because you've done that quality work. It looks like a really, you, it looks like you've really seized your future here, um, Libra, and it's looking absolutely lovely for you. Uh, a lot, huge, huge amounts of potential within you at the moment, and it is building up uh, into a crescendo. And I think you understand. It's now learning of how to um, how to dose, you know, how to judge your sort of passions and how you apply your passions within life. Really, really nice reading, uh, Libra. There you go. Thank you very much for the support for the for the channel. Uh, in the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy. <laughs>